You know when you're in China, when you're just taking a little bike trip over there, we got our bikes. We're taking a little bike trip up uh, north of Huizhou to a place called Bolo. Uh, there was actually a mountain pass that we found that was rumored to have very, very good motorcycling roads. Now, unfortunately, it didn't stop there. Well, fortunately, it didn't stop there because we have just stumbled across a place called Hallstatt. Uh, ha or is it Ha or Yeah. Ha or yeah. Uh, apparently, this is a construction project with a billion dollars in investment from the Chinese government to make an exact replica of a village called Hallstatt that's famous for its scenery in Austria. And it's, it's the only recorded history, historical case of building an actual replica, a replica town in peacetime. They did that during wars, the Soviet Union did it. And China has done it for uh, some places in replicating India uh, in Xinjiang. But, this is the first time this is done for tourism and for for uh, development real estate. So we're gonna go have a look. Let's go inside. Go. So we're here upon entrance, and I'm floored. It's an actual Austrian village with a church, beer garden, all this kind of stuff. I can't believe we gotta get inside and check this out. I can't believe out. this. I can't believe it. Look at up on the clock tower. They even got doves up there. I wonder if they like chain them down. Anyway, this, this is the, the, the fountains are in tune with the music and apparently there's like fully functional beer garden here, but there's like no tourists here, it's just employees. So look at the huge room of employees over here. They're doing actually nothing. They're just hanging out. But let's have a look at the street over here. So we're here at the Austrian village. We're about to enter the church. Let's go inside. Well, they've turned the church into an exhibit of, of the future of Hallstatt. And there's some Greco-Roman paintings up here. But there's no Jesus. No cross. No, no cross, pews, no pews. No organ. So they stripped out a church and... <laughs> They got Santa. That's true, that's true. Yeah, it's absolutely and completely wrong. It's the most foreign game on this planet, chess. They made a chess fountain. Oh boy. Oh my god, we have some scaling vines Oh, scaling vines, beautiful. Anyway, look at this. The photo gallery. <laughs> oh no, a London telephone booth, oh no. Those are all over Austria, aren't they? And of course they would write in English. I mean, it's it's pretty stunning, like they did a good job with the buildings. Yeah. But, what? I don't understand. I don't get it. Oh, this is the book. Oh, the book, <laughs> Knowledge is the Key to the Front Door, Open Wisdom. See, they still didn't get foreigners to write this stuff. And these yeah. are just old... Yeah, these are old magazines. Magazines. Look at that, this one is from October of 2011. Yeah, that's not too old. Uh, they just look they old. They got the Spiegel. That's right, that's good. <laughs> these magazines are banned. Are they? Yeah. Yeah. That's they weird. This is the square. Do you have any witty banter about this? I mean, it's beautiful, like Austria. It is. Like the that. It's kind of weird, like what they got and what they didn't. Yeah. You know, like the church is just like ridiculous. You know? Yeah. But like the the architecture is actually. Yeah, it looks it's, great. It's too precise. You know? Yeah, it's yeah. Organic. It's not organic. It but it, I mean, it's good looking. Yeah. Oh, I'll, I'll turn around. Oh, the employees are calling us. Those are, they're probably going to try to sell us some real estate there. We'll act like we're big shots from um, Germany. Eh. Except they probably speak German. I know that a lot of people do. This is an example of one of the houses that people will live in. It's actually very, very big. Very grand entrance, <laughs> that's for sure. Yeah. But anyway, yeah, so I guess they will be pretty expensive. I was, I would estimate, just offhand, I would estimate probably a million dollars each. 
There's a dove on the top of that one. <laughs> dun, 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 dun. The way that they built this, like it almost feels like an American suburb, except for the, the building structures, which are obviously European. This quiet little road, meandering road, a little sidewalk. And everything's new. Everything's new. Right, yeah. saplings everywhere. Right. It's all well planned. Yeah, this is like a quiet little neighborhood. It is, really. Like, you got walk the dog in the morning. That's what it feels like. I don't know why they're trying to sell an American suburb in an Austrian village. But yeah. <laughs> Children's clothing. Cigar store. Cigar store. <laughs> Musical <laughs> instrument. And none of these shops are functional, though. This is the problem. We got models taking pictures here. Huh? Yeah. So Ben and I are on the search for food because we're actually completely far away from anything that would sell food. Oh, the church bells are ringing. Um, so we found a coffee shop. They don't know if they have food, so we're going to keep looking. There's <laughs> Chinese gourmet. <laughs> That's a Texas menu from a Chinese restaurant. Why would you put that there? A Texas menu and a pizza menu from Texas. I have absolutely no idea what's going on here. This is absolutely bizarre. <clears throat> anyway, let's find some food. So that's uh, There's a restaurant. I noticed that they're playing French music. But it's all drowned out with the sound of buzz saws. What is this place? First uh, item on the menu is our, our soups. What do you have? A cream of I mushroom? Have, uh, cream of mushroom, yeah. Okay, let's have a try of that. Just careful, it's very hot. That's alright. The something I've noticed about Chinese soups hmm. uh, when they do like and they try to have a Western flair on things. They make them too thin. Mm. They just the Chinese are not into thick soup. Oh, well, mine's Thai Western soup. Very much are. Oh, yeah. Okay. Well, you're you're eating Thai soup in the Austrian village then. Let's see how that is. Second course here is pretty good. We got a delicious rare steak. Uh, what kind of beef was it? Is it some sort of high grade beef? Yeah, I think so. Not <laughs> not Angus. Looks quite lovely. So we're gonna have to dig into that. I got some steak sauce too. I'm gonna get some spaghettis. Mandatory company for steak. Hopefully it has ketchup on it. Yeah. <laughs> of course I don't. Enjoy this lovely meal, shall we try? Yeah. Let me have a little, a little view here. Mm -hmm. a recording. Excuse me, I'm coming from Austria. This mm. is rather. an Austrian man. Uh, I say, there does seem to be a lot of construction in the village <laughs> these days. Look at this. The steak is wow. massively rare. That is, that is excellent. That should be good. I actually don't know how to use a fork. I know. <laughs> it's a problem. I want to eat everything with quads in now. Chopsticks, yeah. Yeah. Fantastic. Oh. It's very good. Not bad. Because what did we pay for this This whole set meal? was about 15? About seven, 17 bucks. Yeah, yeah. Which in America, you'd get like, you know, a steakhouse center, but this is much better. Than yeah. You were saying something about the steak here. Yeah, I. So in my time in China, I've I've had a few steaks. Mm. You know, I've had them from establishments, humble and mighty. And I feel like the, the Chinese relationship with the steak is very similar to the relationship with the car. They love the idea of it. They don't really know that much about it. Uh -huh. you know, there's a lot of passion, but not necessarily a lot of knowledge. Uh -huh. So it's never grilled. 
for example. Right. Never grill their steaks. Uh, you have to talk waiters into making them even the tiniest bit rare. Yeah, because uh, they think it's like poisonous if it's rare. We yeah, have a one magazine model sitting next to us. I'm so nervous. She's the only person here who's had more pictures taken of her than we have. Yeah, that's true. <laughs> we can say, aren't we all models? Aren't we all? Don't we all wear masks? <laughs> we, all, we all do wear masks, that's for sure. And we're all models of our own world. Exactly. <clears throat> <laughs> she is very beautiful. I'm not gonna stop from <clears throat> achieving my dreams, man. I'm not gonna let her keep me down. Hmm. Yeah, last, last course on the menu here. Uh, I just realized how, like, okay, that's that's a new, that's a new take on salad. Yeah, served at the end. They made like a, <laughs> they made like a pinata or like a tipi. I don't know what it's called, tipi, yeah. tipi salad. Hmm. Thank you. Hmm. It looks nice, though. It yeah. looks it actually does look really pretty, and the vegetables look of very high quality. Yeah, I feel like there was probably like one guy back there whose job is to like arrange the salads, and they're like, "Ted, wake up!" He's like <laughs> sleeping on a pile of boxes. And they're like, "Ted, you need to make a salad." <laughs> He's like, "What?" And they're like, "You need to make a salad. You went to training for this. You can do it." And he's like, "Guys, I've been drunk for three weeks." So we're here at Hallstatt. We got Loverboy over here, which is a Canadian band. Probably not very big in Austria. And um, we also have... Now that they use the clarinet. We also have Will Smith on the vinyl. <laughs> I, did Will Smith make vinyl record? They yeah, apparently yeah, did. Yeah, all, all new records. Yeah, that's true. Yeah, for people who are you know, really hi-fi Will Smith aficionados. <laughs> And we have Rod Stewart. Blondes have more fun next to a phonograph, which I thought was pretty funny. Uh, oh, Hall of Notes. Lots of all the Hall of Notes. Every yeah, Hall of Notes album. Wow. Oh man. Let's continue. Ooh, and this is where they're building the lake, eh? Oh, the model's down there. I feel like we're just following her around now. We got to watch her get changed. Yeah, that was cool. Can I say that in film? No, we shouldn't. <laughs> okay, I did it anyway. All the, all the undergarments were still on. You know? Yeah, she was had underwear on. Yeah, that's fine. I feel like we're she just... She was doing it right there in public, so... I feel like we're just following her around, though. Yeah, it's a little I should embarrassing. Be, I should be looking at the scenery, but I keep wanting to follow the model. Yeah, she is very beautiful. She's got a whole team. Yeah. Computers. They're using yeah. IMAX. Yeah. I books, what are they That's called? That's when you know you're around creative people in China. <laughs> this guy uses the water from the fountain to clean. It's nice. Recycle. Let's continue. Very typical Austrian scene here of a Austrian policeman in a big wheel floating car and bringing a huge flock of geese, swans, behind it. Can't get much more typical than that. Yep. And again, our lovely model. Oh, and she's, all right, just pretend like, a minute. <laughs> they know we're watching. That's bad. I'm gonna say 24. 20. 20. Are we walking around the lake? Okay. I think it goes all the way around. So if we can go all the way around when we come back to the beginning, I'm just making fake motions to go around the lake. Wow, oh, he's. Romantic. Okay. Fine chick maker Treffen panked. <laughs> so that's gonna be a restaurant. Yeah. I'll tell you what, you can put Chinese people in funny Austrian clothes all you like, but you can't ever make them stop being Chinese. <laughs> well said. Shanghai squats, smoking cigarettes, like this. <laughs> Oh, here it is. There's Hallstatt for you. 
Hope you enjoyed.